The Fenlands provide some of the most productive agricultural soil in the country. But this has been achieved by centuries of well-organised and centrally controlled draining of the area. A network of ditches, drains, canals and rivers, together with control systems, have reduced and kept the water levels down so that the land can be lived on and farmed. For this to be maintained, the water in the drainage ditches and channels had to be moved out into the main drains and rivers. Dogdyke pumping station was built in 1855 to replace a wind-powered pump and started work in 1856. Its steam-powered beam engine drove the scoop wheel to drain water from the farmland between the rivers Bain and Witham from then until 1940. Located in the parish of Tattershall, it is positioned on the edge of the River Witham, not far from RAF Coningsby. This steam-powered drainage station was restored, maintained and is operated by the volunteers of the Dog Dyke Pumping Station Preservation Trust. The main 1855 building is in three parts, housing the scoop wheel, the boiler room, and the engine. This is the beam engine that drives the scoop wheel. Uh, for the technically minded, it is a 16 horsepower, double acting, condensing, rotative beam engine. Uh, it was built in 1855 by a firm called Bradley and Craven of Wakefield. Uh, it is, as far as we know, the only example of a Bradley and Craven engine that remains, working or not. It was brought here in 1855, we think by water, down the Air and Calder Navigation Canal, into the Trent, down the Foss, through Lincoln into the Witham, and then brought down to the bank outside and lifted out of the barges and assembled here. It was assembled and commissioned in January of 1856 and it's been here ever since. Once steam is up, starting the engine is a simple process. Yep. Yep. Disconnected the valve here. Feed in the steam and open up the conduct. There she goes. And the drive shaft goes from the crank right through the flywheel into the other side of the building where it is connected to the scoop wheel which actually moves the water. The scoop wheel has wooden paddles fitted into it which as the wheel is rotated 
force water from the drain outside through a channel and out to the river via two flap doors, which are opened by the force of the water. By 1977, the station had been returned to an operational condition and the volunteers of the Trust run the station in steam at certain weekends throughout the spring, summer and autumn so that visitors can see how it worked to drain the fens in this area.